Hello boaters, welcome to Narrowboat Journeys. My name is Phil and I've lived aboard my narrowboat on the canal system for over 30 years. I share my home with my two cats, Bushka and Midge, and we spend our days travelling around the canal system and making videos. This video continues on from the last one and we're just approaching Nell Bridge and I'll be going through Nell Bridge Lock and then crossing the River Cherwell to Aino Weir Lock and then after that mooring up just after Belcher's Lift Bridge. Now how about this for a pretty canal scene? Very picture postcard. Just after this bridge on the right there is a CRT maintenance yard. There's nothing here for the boater apart from a winding hole. And here we have Nellbridge Lock and Nell Bridge itself and a very busy B road that crosses Nell Bridge is the B4100 and you've got to cross over the road to get back to the lock you'll see what I mean in a minute it's uh, got, to, got to be quite very careful crossing over there it's a dangerous old road
this lower pound joins with the River Cherwell, and in times of flood, the water levels down here can rise so much that you won't be able to get underneath this bridge, hence the uh, level indicator there on the wall. All OK today, though. In order to close the lock gates, I've got to stop the boat here, cross over the road to get back to the lock, close the gates and then come back over again. It's quite a procedure. Notice how high the metal piling is here. That's because the water rises, as I've already mentioned. Um, yeah, it can get quite uh, dodgy down this bit. And there I go. Look at me run. <laughs> Speed it up video, of course. Right, that's that done. On to Ainhoe Weir Lock. But before that, of course, we've got to cross the River Cherwell. Luckily, there's no real flow on the river today, so it'll be fine. But it can be, you know, like I said, it can be pretty dodgy down here. This is the lock landing for Ainho Weir Lock, and it's quite a distance from the lock itself. Bit of a pain if you're on your own, but it's wise to get the lock ready before you venture down there. So I've got the lock ready and I'm back at the boat and off we go and immediately you can see we've got a long barrier here. The River Cherwell goes from right to left just in front of the bridge in front of me there and it's only really close to the bridge that you feel the force of it. At the end of this wooden barrier there's a nasty little elbow of wood sticking out and it is possible if the river pushes you up against that barrier that that might poke one of your windows in. You have to be careful of that. And that's looking up the River Cherwell, all very calm today. You don't get much of a look though because you've immediately got to go through the bridge and into Aino Weir Lock. Now this lock is an odd shape one. All the, all the locks on the Oxford Canal are like uh, narrow locks, apart from two, this one and Shipton Weir Lock. And the reason is it's because these locks are fed by the river in both cases. Um, there's plenty of water to be had and there's only a very small drop. So they make the lock extra wide to allow a greater volume of water through each time a boat goes through and that supplies enough water down for subsequent locks. So that's why this lock is so wide. 
it's perfectly possible to get two or three boats in here at a time, but you are going to bottleneck when you get to the next lock. One other point to note, these lock gates, although they're very small, they're made of steel and I don't think they're balanced all that well because they're extremely heavy. Uh, both the top and bottom gates and the same goes for Shipton Weir Lock as well. Really deceptively hard work. They also leak quite badly. And if the river's got quite a good flow on it, you might have a problem opening that gate. Right, off we go again. Not far at all now to Belcher's Bridge, which is uh, you know, just along here a little bit. And there is Belcher's lift bridge. This one is normally up, so you won't have to operate it. I don't think I've ever seen it down. And just after it is a very nice little place to moor up.
It can get pretty packed here in the summer though. Um, it's okay at this time of year. So this is where I shall be stopping. So thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.